Now, yeah, basically. when, when somebody some says their deadlift is not going up, what I hear is I didn't put more weight on the deadlift and pull it for a set of five. That's what I hear. All right. Now, does it mean you I, failed or you, like you 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 didn't hit all all five or you you actively did not make the next jump? Yeah, I, I try to increase the weight and I just I, I failed it, and it, it was like a repeating pattern. So you'd pull four reps instead of five. Yeah, basically. Oh, I you know. I, you know, if I had a a, a kid your age uh, in front of me on the platform, and you got down to the fourth rep of that set, and you pulled on the fifth rep and it didn't go, I would beat your ass. I would beat your ass. Yeah, especially if the squat and deadlift are, I, are at the same level in terms of weight. You you can pull the set of five, and that's the you can pull the. It's set It's the of most five. common issue on the deadlift. People think they're done with the deadlift. Uh, it's it, it it it's a motherfucker, and it feels like it's not going to move. You have to learn how to pull that fifth fifth rep. Yeah, you, you can't stop pushing. That's the thing. See, you can't you stop get pushing. Your, you get your squat four hundred five. Your deadlift will be at four seventy five. Right. Anyway. Okay. Mm-hmm. Unless okay. there's something wrong. Unless, like our previous caller, you've got a long back and short arms. And, and this could be a... Or like one hand or something like that. Yeah. This know. could be a technique issue. You could be getting the bar out way in front of you yeah. and not know that this is a bad thing. Yeah, from a technique standpoint, it's going to be low back coming unlocked. Or yeah. the grip. Are you are you trying to double overhand your deadlifts? Are you using a mixed grip? Using chalk? Are you Say again. I've been using straps, so grip isn't like a limiting factor. Yeah, Man, I, I, I would beat your ass. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> you get in a two-hour workout, and I'm watching you complete three work sets of squats, and then you do your presses or bench, and then you go to you go to your deadlifts, and you fail to pull the last rep of a set of five. I would beat your ass so hard that you would regret having showed me that level of cowardice because that's really all it is. I, I haven't you, beat any of my kids' asses yet, but I have fixed a lot of their deadlifts. So you need to double-check what's going on in your deadlift, especially whenever the set gets later in the reps and see if your form is breaking down because if you're only missing that fifth rep and getting through four of them, it could be a form breakdown issue. could be a form breakdown issue, but we want to see it. We want to see a video. Yeah. I want to see a video of your squats because I want to make sure your squats are, in fact, below parallel. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I want to see yeah. that last set of deadlifts that you've missed the fifth rep right. on and see what the hell is wrong with it because something's wrong here yep this is not normal yep all right okay because th- there were there were some sets where i was only able to get three so currently my lifts are like i'm po- like my max deadlift would be around like high threes low fours my squat like 330 ish somewhere around there bench like 235 and my press like 135 something like that your press is low and at the your press a little low but those are fairly honest numbers yep uh if you're gonna miss uh the fifth rep of a deadlift at 395 off of three sets of 335 squats i you know that that shouldn't happen and it may be that I'd, I'd like to know what rest you're taking between your sets you know, there's all kind of how are you doing your warm ups, all this kind of stuff is relevant. And if your back is holding a locked position off the floor, right. you know, if you're rounding your low back off the floor, it's real hard to lock out a bar that comes off the floor with a lumbar flexion. That's hard to do. And if, if that's the case, I'd like to know why you've got lumbar flexion. It's a technique issue. Week on Starting okay. Strength Radio. We are going to annoy the hell out of you because we're going to tell you why we are right 
and why everybody else is wrong. Hey, man, rise to the occasion. Watch it. Refute the argument. We'll see you on Starting Strength Radio.